Mark Clements. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You have a number of uh, violations here. I'm going to go through them slowly so we can see what's going on here. First of all, these violations that I'm talking about go back 16 years ago. Yes, 2001, 2000, 2002. Then you have others that go back, a turn signal violation that goes back 17 years ago. Yep. Then you have a seatbelt violation that goes back 18 years ago. You have a no license on person that goes back 19 years ago. Where have you been for the last 20 years? Well, I've been incarcerated from like 2002 to uh, 2017. I mean, not all, you know, for one stay, like three, three or four different times I've been in and out of there. So. You have a number of violations, Mr. Clemens, that go back 20 years. Yes, right. sir. None of these involved moral turpitude. They were all seat belts, not having your license with you. So the picture I'm getting is that you've been, you were incarcerated for a long period of time, and now you're out, and you're trying to get, get back in the mainstream of life and trying to put your life back together. And it's all going to be almost impossible to do that without a driving license. Yeah, absolutely right. So I suspect that what you're saying is, Judge, give me a break. Like, let me get my license back so that I can maybe get a job so that now I won't be driving without a license to get myself in more difficulty, and then it's just going to be a downward spiral for, like, something foolish. Now, I already got a job. I work in Attleboro at this place called Rustolium. I take the train on every day, so I'm working already. But I'm just trying to get my license now, you know, so I can buy a car, you know. Well, I think I'm going to help you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to dismiss everything here. Oh, I appreciate that. All of these cases go back 17 to 20 years ago. There's seat belts, there's no license on person, there's one stop sign. All right. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, no, I was a reckless driver then, you know. Well, you make a nice no, impression. Well, Mark, well, you wouldn't stop for us back then. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're right. So I haven't you're seen right. you, that's why I was saying yeah. I said you got a lot bigger since the last time I saw you. Mark. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Inspector Quinn, are you familiar with Mark? Yes. Uh, we, we've uh, we've crossed paths many many times back in the uh, 80s, early 90s, down in Southside. Oh yeah, you think he's calmed down a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. got a little bigger, so I mean he's a little slower now. I might be able to catch him sooner. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, Inspector Quinn, there's one thing I've learned about you, and that is that you're a good judge of character. Yeah, I think you're probably one of the toughest street cops around when you were actually on the street. So you have a pretty good insight into human nature. So how do you feel about Mr. Clements? Mark looks good today, and I'm glad to hear that he's got the job and he's trying to move forward. And, Thank you. you know, and I'm glad you, Your Honor, have the opportunity here to assist him in that, you know, give him a second chance. Well, I want you to know that both Inspector Quinn and I are rooting for you. Appreciate that. Right? I really hope that things work out for you, you know? Thank you. Thank you. You can leave. <laughs> these, matters, <laughs> these matters are all going to be dismissed. All right. Thank you, Judge. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I was a street cop on the south side of Providence for 20 years. Well, let's just say Marcus and I were well acquainted. He was doing his job, and I was doing mine. The fact that our jobs were in direct conflict is what made our interactions memorable. I was happy to see Marcus in court today getting his life back on track. Everyone deserves a second chance, and I was glad to see he was taking advantage of his. I'm also glad I don't need to chase him anymore. He was damn fast. John Forcia. Good morning, sir. Good morning, John. You're charged with parking at a meter on Richmond Street that expired. What there, do you want to tell me about that? There was no meter. I got, I got, I pulled, I was going to a uh, child support court. I pulled up there, I see this pole. It doesn't have a meter on it. I see, I figured I was, got lucky. No, no pocket today, free pocket. I got out, I went in, I was in there a half hour, I come out, I got a ticket on my, my dash. How, how high was the pole that you saw? Like this. It was one of the, that had the head on him? Didn't have a head on it. It didn't have a head on it, Your Honor. If you want to yell at anybody, yell at him. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get excited because You're there excited. was no head. I could, couldn't put no money in it. Where was I going to put it? In the boat? <laughs> I would have gladly paid a dollar, you know? You'd be glad to pay? It's not 24. I can't afford it. I'm out for security. Yeah. Inspector Quinn, do they have multi-space meters there? They do, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Forcey, here's what happened. Okay. What happened? Well, let's, give me a chance. Okay. <laughs> 
feel like I'm home. I can't talk. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> but here's the deal. I have to do what's reasonable. Right. So here's what's reasonable. This is an area where they had parking meters. So what they do is they take the head off the parking meter. They leave the pole there. Mm. All right. So you look and you say, well, exactly what you thought. I would think, too. Say, well, I got a break yeah. here. Yeah, are they were They're not enforcing it. It was broken right. or something. Okay. But what, <laughs> break. What, what they should have done was they should have put something on the pole saying go to the multi-space meter. Right. So you want to go on a payment plan? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to for $25. <laughs> All right. Based on that explanation, the matter is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. And don't yell at me anymore. I'm sorry. All right. All right. So don't come back for another 12 years. Yeah, okay. 12 years. Thank you. Albus Fernandez. Good morning. Good morning. You are charged with speeding. Well, the only defense that I have is my son was driving oh. the vehicle. It is my car, um, but he was driving. It was him. Yeah, how old is your son? He's 18. Well, he was uh, on Child Street in Providence going by a school zone, mm -hmm. and he was doing 39 miles an hour. <laughs> I know, he was going fast. He just got his license. Um, it was a Saturday, he was going to get a haircut. <laughs> I know. His hair must have been growing pretty fast. <laughs> he wanted to beat everyone else to the barbershop. He wanted he to get there. Want to wait. He wanted to get there before it reached shoulder length. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you have two choices. You can contest it and come back and have a trial or pay 50 bucks. I'll just pay the 50. All right, good luck. Thank you. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.